Hey guys, and welcome back to another part of my playthrough of Paper Mario with Bowser the Door. In the last part, we took care of some things. We talked to Flavio, and now we're gonna try to head to Kill Hall Key. But we ran into a problem and we need a navigator. So we're gonna try to convince Admiral Bobbery to go back to sea again. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to this guy. So we need Bobbery to go back into the water so he can lead us safely to Kill Hall Key. Alright, so he's going to tell us the story behind Admiral Bobbery and why he won't go back to the sea again. So basically, Potley and Bobbery were best friends. And... Polly, uh, well, Bobbery, he had a wife named Scarlet, and she ended up getting really sick while Bobbery was at sea, but when she was sick, she wrote him a letter on her deathbed saying that, don't blame yourself, it's not your fault, but of course, Bobbery blamed himself because he was at sea so much that he couldn't care for her. And that's pretty much how the story goes. And of course, Potley like helped her, you know, while Bobbery was away. So Potley was a good friend. But unfortunately, we need him to get us to kill Hall Key, like. And look at this. He gives us a he gives us a letter, and it's the letter that she wrote on her deathbed. And Potley has been keeping this letter from Bobbery for like years. So you can say that Potley was being sort of, I guess, an asshole for like keeping this from Bobbery. But yeah, alright, so we got our letter. So let's go ahead and take this with Bobbery and see how he reacts to it. Well, I know how he's gonna react to it, but if you've never played this game, you'll see soon enough. Alright, so let's roll on in here, talk to Bobbery. So let's show him the letter. And he recognizes that it's Scarlet. Time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. That's actually pretty cool. I, I actually like that. Alright, so Bobby's gonna take a moment to get himself together. And Mario's just looking around like a retired. And Bobbery is ready to go to sea. Oh, yeah. Alright, so before we do that, let's come in here and get the Shine Sprite. Yeah, Shine Sprite. Anything else in here? Nah, yeah, you don't have anything to interest. Alright, so now that we have Bobbery in tow. He's gonna go ahead and head to the dock by himself. But <clears throat> before we do that, there's actually a couple things that we can do now that we have a new ability. Grab this email, go away. Now that we have a new ability, and now we have a couple more party members. So 
I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to a bunch of the stuff that we can do so I will see you guys in a bit all right if you come over here to the west side of town and you go inside this house or I think it's this house you'll notice that you'll see a patch right here now what you want to do is you want to get in your tube form and roll out the side of it and in doing so you get yourself a shine sprite and to get out of here you just roll through this go back in the tube form and you'll end up in this guy's house next door and you'll come out of the drawer and you end up getting a free shine sprite out of that. As for the second thing you can collect, you want to go down here and go through these bars and in this room there's going to be a bunch of spikes. But if you try to use Yoshi, you won't be able to get to the other side in time. So what you have to do is you have to get out Vivian and use her Veil ability to sneak past these spikes and claim a pretty good badge. Oh, did we make it? Yeah, we made it. And we get the Spike Shield badge for that. And now just make- wow, wow! Okay, now you have to make your way back through. Ooh, cutting that one close. Cut that one close too. Alright. As for the third thing you can do, which I could have done after Glitzville, but didn't really think about it. You can come through here and you can actually smash this yellow block with your super hammer. And you also get a shine sprite in the process. When you fall down here, spin jump on that to make a pipe appear. Now if we go up here, we do the same thing, we make another pipe appear. Oh crap. And basically these blue pipes right here, they'll take you to various areas. I believe this one takes you to Petal Meadows. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, takes you right to Petal Meadows. So if you ever have any like side things you need to do and you need to come back here, you can use this pipe for quick access. Instead of having to go through the other pipe that takes you to the meadows and you have to jog your way back to the town. Now this pipe takes you to Boggle Woods. If you ever need to get back to the tree in a hurry, you can use that pipe. Now, there's going to be some more pipes you can go through, but we can't do that yet. And they're right through this door. But we need another upgrade to get to those pipes, so let's go back to the dock. Alright, now that we have made it back to the pier, what do you say we go ahead and make our way to this ship? And you know what? Once we get on that ship, that's going to be the start of the next chapter. And I want to keep this as part of the post chapter. So I think I'm going to end it right here. And if you guys found this part helpful, I hope you come back for more. And I will see you guys later.